Hi again, here we are to continue with uh, Swift, Xcode, and making this to-do app. And uh, we're going to continue working on uh, core data today, right? So uh, so in the last video, we set up our, um, our core data entity here called to-do, and we gave it a couple attributes of name and complete it, okay? And this created a class over here, which was an ns-managed object that owns these two properties over here called name and completed, right? So essentially this is very similar to our old class, except now it's a, it's a core data, you know, managed object type object, okay? So we need to do a few things now though to, to do manager Swift because we have a bunch of errors, okay? So, uh, so what are we gonna do? Let's go through this and fix a few things, okay? So, uh, so first of all, um, we need to get a reference to the context, okay? And the context is a um, is an object that saves and works with the database. You can think of it like the database, okay? So if we're going to save these NS manage objects to a database, you know, we have to have a reference to that database, and we're just going to call that the NS managed context, okay? Or managed object context, okay? Um, if you created your project with core data in app delegate dot swift, um, there will be a lot of extra code that sets up the uh, the managed object. So you can see in here, there's a thing called lazy var managed object model persistent store coordinator. Like all this extra code was added to this file, and then there's managed object context, right? So it's it's living in here. We don't have to worry about this or change this. What we're going to do is we're just going to pull this up out of app delegate. Okay, so we're just going to grab this out of app delegate from our file. Okay, um, but anyway, that that should have been added to your project when you check the core data box when you created the new project. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here, and I've got my singleton shared instance variable, and then I have this private var to do, and maybe right below it, what I'll do is I'll make a new, um, I'll say let um, context wait, context, you know, and then I'll do the colon and I'll say it's going to be type ns managed. And you can see that um, that Xcode is not giving me the code hints here. So what we need to do is we need to include import core data at the top here. Okay, so we'll add import core data and then I'll t start typing managed. Oh, there we go. So now we got managed object and then we got managed object context, right? So any class that's going to work with core data will need to import core data, okay? So let's say that's going to be an NS managed object context, all right? And so now that we've got this variable and we, you know, we haven't given it a value. We've just said that this is the name and this is the type and that we gave an exclamation point to say that, yeah, we're going to set that for sure, um, but we haven't set it yet. So let's go down to, um, to the init function here, and what I want to do is I want to, I want to set the, uh, the value for the managed context, okay, or the managed object context. We're actually going to delete all this stuff too. Maybe I'll just do that right now. Yeah, let's just delete all this stuff because we don't need that anymore either. That that was just to add extra stuff to our database, right? Which uh, which we're not we're not you know we're going to be persisting our data, so we won't need to add it to the database, right? Let's see here. Um, so what do we want to do? We want to do uh, let app delegate equal uh, what is it? It's like UI application. Uh, dot shared application dot delegate as wait let's put that thing there uh, app delegate there we go right so that's a little long there let me actually change this I, I made the text a little bigger I thought it'd be easier to read but then it makes these long lines go off the edge of the screen there um, let's change the size again here to this right so anyway, so there we go. So we got app delegate um, is going to be you know UI application shared application delegate as app delegate, right? So this gives us a reference to app delegate up here, and now we want to get the uh, the the managed object context from app delegate. So we'll say uh, context, or you could do self dot context equals app delegate 
and say app delegate. Wait, that's uppercase. We want the lower. We want this one dot um, managed. What is it? The managed object. It's not giving me the code hints here. Let's see. Context, I think, is what it is, right? Yeah, that's it, right? So anyway, so there we go. We got that, right? And then I think we're we're pretty much we're good to go, right? So now that we've got the context, we can talk to the context, and you know, just imagine this as your database, okay? So when we want to fetch, you know, items or managed objects that are saved to the database or to core data, we'll talk. To, we'll we'll do all those processes through the context, okay? So we've got our context, and now what we want to do is we want to be able to um, to fetch some some data from the database, okay? So we'll need to add a new method for that um, because we might want to fetch data at any time, right? So you know we'll want to do it for sure here when we initialize our um, our our object or our to do manager class, but. Uh, we may want to do it in the future too. Like at some point, you might want to, you know, pull and refresh or something to get stuff. You know, um, so what we'll do is we'll make a function here, uh, fetch um, to dos maybe, and then we'll we'll start off here. So we'll do fetch to dos, and maybe we want to. Um, what do we want to do there? Let me think about this. Uh, Let's see here. Um, so let's see. So maybe the first thing we need to do is we need to make a, a fetch request, right? So we'll say let fetch request. So essentially here what we're doing is we're, um, we're fetching data from the database, okay? So if you've played with MySQL, you usually need to make a, you know, a MySQL query, and this is kind of similar, right? So we're going to make a, a new fetch request, and that's its own class. So we'll say uh, ns fetch request, right? And then there's a couple different kinds we can make. We can make with coder um, or with entity name, right? And we're going to use entity name because we have an entity called to do, remember, in our uh, XC model data, we have an entity here called to do. So what we'll do is we will um, we'll fetch that entity by its by its name. So the name here needs to match exactly the name of your entity over here. Okay. So we'll do that, and then um, and then what are we going to do here? We're going to um, we're going to say do, and then we're going to say catch. Okay, and so this do catch block right here, um, it's uh, it's a way of checking for errors. It's sort of a new thing in Swift, and uh, essentially what we do is we run, you know, any method here that could produce an error, and we use the the keyword try. So we're telling the computer, hey, why don't you give it a try? And if that doesn't work out, we'll catch any errors down here in the catch block. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna try the fetch request, and the reason we have to try is because we might try and fetch something from the database that doesn't exist, and in that case, then we'll we'll have an error, right? So, um, and then we'll we'll catch the error down here, and that'll that'll let our program continue running without just crashing, right? So, uh, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna say, um, let's see, uh, let results equal um, try context dot execute fetch request yeah I think we want this first one right here and you'll notice that um, any of the methods that you can use try or any of the things that you can put in the actually you know what I put that in the wrong spot let me move this down here right so any of the methods that you can use a try on will show um, throws or it'll say try in front of it, okay? When you see it on the on the list of code, like it'll say, you know, in these code hints, it'll say try often in front, or it'll say throws at the end. And if it says that, then you can put it inside the do catch block, okay? Um, so anyway, so we're gonna ex execute our fetch request, and you can see this first option here takes a request, 
which is type ns fetch request, right? So that means we can take the fetch request we created here and put it over here, right? So there's our there's our fetch request, and if that worked, then all the code here will, is is good to go. If it didn't work, the try will send us down to catch down here, and we can print an error message or do something to let let our users know that the that the fetch request failed for some reason, right? So what we're going to do is this this um, results object here, right? Is is going to be a or the results that we return from this thing is going to be an array, okay? So you can see here when I when I use the option key and I click on this, you can see you know execute fetch request. It throws an error, right? And then you can see it says you know returns an array because the square brackets there, and then it says any object. Okay, so it returns an array of you know any type of object. Really, in this case, it's going to return an array of to do objects, right? And we have an array up here to hold our to dos, right? So what we want to do is we want to say to dos equals results, right? But what we want to do is we want to cast the results, which are type any object, as type to do. So I'm going to put uh, as brackets to do, okay? Because that's the type of array that is expected here, okay? So we'll say results are any object, but we know that when we did this fetch request that they're type to do, objects so we'll cast that as to do's okay so now how do we handle an error right um if there's an error the error message actually it's a little the syntax here is a little strange but we can say let error uh as ns error i guess it's not that strange but it just looks a little weird but if we catch we're going to get an error as type ns error because this will throw an ns error okay and so if it throws an error we catch it over here okay and if we catch the error, we can say print, and then we'll put in, uh, you know, uh, could not fetch to do's, and uh, oops, let's spell fetch correctly there. And then over here, maybe we'll put in, uh, we'll print the error message, and then if you want, you can print the error message um, dot user info. I think there's another one too. It's like error dot description or something, right? But anyway, I think that should give us a good good amount of error information, right? And you could handle you could handle the error in other ways too, um, and that code would just go in this in the catch block, okay? So anyway, so there we go. So we're doing pretty good so far. Um, uh, so this this should fetch all our to dos. Now the problem now is since we removed all the all the other you know default to do items from in it, we're not going to get, you know, our we're gonna our app is going to start empty. There's going to be no to dos in it, so we'll have to actually create the to do. So that means we're going to have to um, modify the the methods up here to uh, to you know add to dos to our to our database, right? And we'll do that in the next video. Um, you know, let's add one more thing here before we before we stop, right? But uh, now that we've got fetch to dos working here, hopefully, right? What we need to do is we need to call on it. So when we build the to-do manager, when we load up to-do manager for the first time, what we're going to do is we're going um, to we're going to put fetch to-dos here, and that will call on this method, create the fetch request, um, set up the do block, um, run the execute fetch request here, and if it works, we'll assign to-dos to the array, and if not, we'll print an error message. Okay, so now whenever you you start your app it'll create the to-do manager and then try and fetch the uh, the to-dos okay so that's pretty good for now and then we'll we'll go back up here and we'll fix this other stuff later and you can see that got rid of a bunch of errors too um, we got a couple more things to do here okay so anyway thanks for watching and then we'll continue this in the next video